in his first public appearance, has chosen to come to Tamil Nadu. That too for this very holy land, Trichirapalli. Today, projects worth about 19,850 crore worth of projects is being dedicated to the people of Tamil Nadu and India, including the new airport terminal in Trichy, which is built at a cost of 1,100 crore, and uh, new reactor in Kalpakam, uh, then uh, oil and gas projects, road projects, everything Honorable PM is dedicating to the people of our country today and people of Tamil Nadu. And also we are delighted. Uh, we all know in Trichy is a very special place for our Honorable PM. That's why the party has decided to welcome our Honorable PM by doing Swachh Bharat today and three days before this. So last four days we are involved in cleaning up Trichy, especially our uh, Trichy district Bharat Janata Party and our Yuva Morcha, right from the state president to all the Karikatas here. Today also we are cleaning up in 75 locations across Trichirapalli because we, we know our Swachh Bharat cleaning up, cleaning the city, keeping our places uh, clean is something that is very close to the Honorable PM's heart. That is why we have decided to welcome Honorable PM by doing this clean-up initiative. Sir, whenever PM comes to Tamil Nadu, it will always create an impact, especially for motivating our karyakartas, inspiring the public. So PM's visit to TN is always special. And the last many visits, two times Honorable PM has come to Chennai, uh, then Honorable PM has come to Dindikal for the Gandhi Gram University. Now the Honorable PM is coming to Trichy. So he's coming across different parts of Tamil Nadu in the last two years. And we are very happy. Today, many of our Karyakartas and people of Trichy will get an opportunity to meet our Honorable PM. In fact, uh, for the uh, public uh, dedication project, close to 4,500 college students have registered from 14 different colleges in Trichy. So all the college students are coming and uh, seeing our Honorable PM. So PM coming here will always make an impact, if, uh, be it an election or be it non-election time.